this is a vintage Broncos pull apart doll. If Aaron Rodgers comes over from the Packers, we might not be needing this. How much do they want for it? Hello everyone, it's Tiffany with Thrifting Vegas. I shop at thrift stores, estate sales, garage sales and discount stores for items I can resell for profit on online platforms like eBay, Poshmark and OfferUp. It's early Sunday afternoon and I just came from one of my favourite YouTube live sales, Chapter 2 Vintage Co. Alex and Aaron have some amazing things. I'm here at my favorite Goodwill. I haven't been here in a while, so I'm excited to see what they have. Let's go thrifting. As I came through the door, I noticed that they had a 50% off sale yesterday. This could be really good for me because it would have given them a chance to clear out old stock and fill the shelves with some great new stuff. The color of the day is green. That means that anything that has a green tag is 50% off. I quite like this cupcake, but it's lightweight and not very good quality. I see a unicorn back there. Oh, they've started playing music again and it's quite loud, so I'm going to have to keep talking. Um, if I keep talking, I should be all right. Oh, look at this little dish. It looks like it's got inlaid stones in it really like the color it's very earthy could probably use it for change or keys or jewelry trinkets or even soap and it's only 99 cents so i'm going to put that in my cart i like these four little ducks in a row they're ceramic and they seem to be quite heavy and nice quality they're marked $5.99, so they would be half off $3. I'm just going to check them over. Oh, no, I see it's got a chip there. That's not going to work. Any damage just doesn't really work well on eBay. Uh, it lowers the value so much that it just probably wouldn't be worth it for me. I quite like these bells. This one has a hummingbird on it, but he's missing a wing. And it looks like the flowers are chipped on the other one too. That's a shame. Let's see what else. This is a cute little planter with a hat on it. Planters do quite well for me, but um, animals usually do better than anything else. Let's see. Checking the baggies. You never know what you find in the bags they put together. Some more ducks, but they're quite tarnished. Let's see. Bags of cards there. We're moving into the clear glass. Oh, look, some ashtrays. This one looks like it's flash painted. This one's Holiday Inn. It's glass. Some of the uh, logo ashtrays can be quite... Uh, desirable. I'm going to take a look and see what this one is selling for on eBay. I like the color of that one. Um, I don't see any other logoed ones, so let's see what else they have up here. Well, this is a Sakura that will only sell for about $10, so I'm going to leave that for somebody else. Um, lots of clear glass. Vases, bowls, check that sticker, see what it says. Now, generally the small pieces only sell for about $8 to $12, so um, I'm going to leave those for someone else and focus on things that I can make a little bit more profit on. Oh, look, this dish is by an artist called Reuven. He paints his pieces and then he fires them so the colors melt into each other and it creates a sort of a watercolor effect. I love the purples and pinks and yellows in this piece. And it's only 69 cents. Let's get it in the cart. I wonder if there's any other plates that match this. Maybe there's a set of four. That would be wonderful. Let's see, I'm not seeing any others, but they could be over in the uh, 
lots of West Section and Goodwill. Sometimes they split pieces up and you find them all over the place. Let's see what's this. It's a little angel. She's a ornament, I think. I just want to see the bottom of this. Bee house, I think that's a, a project piece. These are quite interesting. I think they're candle holders. Not signed. Uh, let's see what else they have. They have a, a bull missing a horn. Always have to lift things up and move things around just to see what's underneath. Make sure you don't miss anything. I like this pumpkin. It looks like a Hobby Lobby piece though. It's $13 red, which means there's no discount. Um, this is a sweet little B project canister. It looks quite old. Mary, somebody. quite crazed. Well, this could be Wendell August Forge. I always check these pieces that look like they're hammered uh, aluminium because often uh, they're Wendell August Forge and his pieces can fetch some quite good money. These look like um, slate paper coasters. Got a horse and buggy on them. Four ninety nine green, so they would be two dollars and fifty cents. Says quarried by the Capozzolo Brothers Slate Company, Bangor, Pennsylvania. Yeah, I'll definitely give those a try. What else do they have? This is the candle section. They have candles and candle holders. Oh, this is glass. Let's see, Teleflora. Hmm really heavy it is only three dollars but I think I could only get about 10 to 12 for it look at this turkey he's ceramic and plush oh he's by Russ he's called Gobblem he's only 2.99 so I'm definitely going to grab him for Thanksgiving what else do they have cottontail cottage Ooh, sorry about that glare. Some reindeer candles. Let's pop around the corner and see what they have in the Christmas aisle. Okay, lots of candles and tins and canisters. I'm so surprised that they still dedicate this whole aisle to Christmas. It must be a really good seller for them. What I like to do is go through the Christmas items all year long to see what I can find. And then I'll pick up special pieces, stash them in a tote, and then bring them out in November to list on eBay. Oh, what's this? Mittens on it. Oh, it's quite lightweight, not very good quality. Hello, little bunny, you're very sweet. I've got so many figurines at the moment, they're just not selling for me. I'm going to leave her for someone else. Look at this Care Bear bobblehead. I have to say that I've never seen one of these before. We're in the metal section. Frames. The little risers for a candle or something like that. Then we're in the mug section. Oh look, these are Pottery Barn. Pottery Barn is a great brand. Say, oh what fun in candy cane writing. Those are really sweet. 69 cents. I'm going to put these in my Christmas tub and bring them out to list on eBay in November. What's that one? One second one. I'll get these two. Sell them as a set, a pair. They should do quite well, I think. All right, let's see what else they have. 
looking for familiar brands, anything that catches my eye, anything vintage. These are Mary Kay. Some of them sell quite well, the Mary Kay mugs, but not these ones. There are some collectors out there for those. Let's see. Some glass mugs, frosted mugs. It's quite a nice mosaic design. There's a Starbucks tumbler, but it's missing its lid. It's a shame because it's half price, $2.50. Let's take a look at the glasses. Morris the cat. Really like that one, but it doesn't do very well for resale. Oh, this is um, the Winchester Mystery House. It's a really nice pink wine glass. This is um, a tourist attraction in California. The house is said to be haunted. Um, I like to pick up souvenir pieces like this. They sell quite well for me. Get some bubble wrap. There we are. I would like to find another one of those. Glasses always sell, sell better in pairs or sets. It would be fun if they came in different colors. Yeah, maybe a green and a blue one or two of each color. That would be fun. Not really seeing anything else logo wise. See. All different types of glass though. I'm going to have a quick look on every shelf. Go down to the bottom shelf to make sure I don't miss anything. Well, one of my subscribers told me that these interesting shaped martini glasses are Libby. I really like those. Very unique, very modern look. It looks like they have a set of six of those. Hmm. Maybe I'll wait and see if they go uh, on sale next week. Pick those up. This looks like a Dorothy Thorpe glass, but there's only one, unfortunately. What's this? Oh, it's for Irish coffee. Unfortunately, the gold rim is really worn. That's a shame. Oh, look at these margarita glasses. They have a sort of recycled look like fire and light. Only 50 cents. I'm going to pick up a pair of these for me. They'll be great for the summer. They're nice and heavy, nice quality. I really like those. Yay. Let's see. Take a look at this end cap. Ooh, look at these. These are wine glasses and the stem has a, almost a submerso type uh, red glass inside there. Oh, it looks like somebody had them through the dishwasher though. That's really a shame. I'm gonna leave those. So many things. It's so nicely organized in here. I really like this store. They do such a good job. Oh, I like these sugar shakers. I actually need a replacement top for a vintage one I picked up. Doesn't make sense at $3 though. I can wait. Let's see what they have here. Oh, I like this fish. Oh, he's very lightweight. Made in China. That's a bummer. He almost looks like a target threshold piece. Ray Dunn. He's used to sell really, really well for me, but the market is so flooded now. Piece has to be really special to bring any money or to sell at all. Glass bowls, 
my dishes. Oh, these are interesting. Oh, those are world market. Fooled me, I thought they were vintage. <laughs> Teapot made in Japan. Oh, there's some more little cupcake holders there. They're sweet. Not marked though, they're a bit plain. Let's see what else they have. Oh my goodness, this chicken is massive and really, really heavy. I don't think I want to ship that, even though it's three dollars or oh, four dollars well these are a nice color oh i think they're yes they are hearth and hand this is um magnolia chip and joanna Gaines at target it's a spoon rest unfortunately it has a chip quite a lot of people collect spoon rests i have luck with otagiri and warren kimball and um, just interesting designs. Winnie the Pooh sells well. That's sweet. Looks like it's got little radishes on it. It's very unusual. That's uh, it's like an Asian symbol on the bottom. Interesting. Huh. I like that. Let's see. I'm having to chatter incessantly again because this music is loud and I think I'm right under a speaker. So, oh, there's a little glass grape bottle stopper. That's nice. And oh, these look like metal, but they're very lightweight. I think they're um, either resin or plastic. That's Teleflora, little butterflies. Um, oh, look at this little Christmas canister. That's interesting. It looks vintage. Not familiar with that. I'll, I think I'll check eBay and see uh, if that's worth picking up. I'll put it in my cart for now. Look at these doggy salt and peppers. The little French bulldogs are so cute. I'm going to pop these in my cart and check comps. They want two ninety nine. All right, let's do that. Checking in this miscellaneous houseware section. Oh. It's a lemon squeezer. It looks vintage. Check it works. I really like the way it's got lemon squeezer embossed on the side there. Oh, this is a vintage Broncos pull apart doll. If Aaron Rodgers comes over from the Packers, we might not be needing this. How much do they want for it? $1.99? Definitely. I see a Lisa Frank coloring book. A lot of my subscribers were telling me to grab Lisa Frank. Oh, it looks like this one's used though. That's not going to work. wonder if there's any more. No, I'm going to leave that. I always like to take a stroll through the art section. Oh, this is nice. Oh, I thought that was needlepoint for a second, but I think it's just a print. I do like that blue color. Somebody spray painted the frame and it goes really nicely with the navy blue. I often find some really good frames in here and sometimes some prints and occasionally a painting. Family rules. Let's see. Raiders, rim, real men wear black. <laughs> oh, I like this oil painting. It's quite primitive. I th think it's Hobby Lobby though. Let me take a peek on the back. Oh, yeah. Yes, yeah, Hobby Lobby. I'm going to leave that. Let's see what else they have. I'm sort of 
just eyeing through at the frames and anything that looks old or vintage to me I'll pull out because that's often an indicator of a old painting or sometimes I'll just buy the whole thing because I want the frame. I don't think there's anything today. What happens in Vegas? <laughs> if you're enjoying the video, it would mean um, the world to me if you could give it a thumbs up, drop a comment below, and subscribe to my channel with the little red button here. in the bottom right hand corner of your screen. All right, let's take a quick peek at the furniture. Oh, I quite like that coffee table. It's a bit worse for wear. Dining table. Oh, it's a ping pong table, too. I'm having to chatter on again because of this music. Let's see bookshelves. I'm going to head over to this last row here. They have sporting goods and uh, sort of household items. And on the end here, they have pet items. And there's something pampered chef up here. I wonder what that is. It's uh, looks like a, a deviled egg server. I think it's a bit discolored. All right. I think I'm just going to walk through and see if I missed anything. I think there might have been a couple of aisles that I didn't go down the first time because there are too many people. Um, yeah, I think the plates and the dishes was one I missed. So let's have a quick peek down here and see what they have. Um, let's see, these look like Portuguese pottery, it's pretty, yes, oh, I'm seeing, seeing a few chips and maybe a hairline crack there, that's a shame. Portuguese pottery is really susceptible to chipping easily, it's a shame. Quite a pretty glass. I like the flower. Oh, those are nice. I think those are William Sonoma. I really like the trees on that and the colours. William Sonoma, four ninety nine. That's not a bad price. Just check them over for chips. Oh no, it's chipped. Yeah, that's not going to work. Really need a set of four. Okay, it's pretty blue. Made in China. Christmas. I really like this vintage green glassware. That would have a cup that sits on that little ridge there. Oh, that's interesting. What's that? It looks like it's glued. Oh, the whole thing's glued. <laughs> Somebody made a project. <laughs> this looks like Gordon Ramsay. Royal Dalton Gordon Ramsay maze. Yeah, it's nice and but it's really heavy and I just don't think I want to mess with it, even though it's a great price. Such a pretty color and it actually it does sell quite well. Well this looks English. Noel. Who are you? You are Royal Wessex by Churchill, made in England. Again, this would need to be in a set to really be worthwhile. Like this, wish it was any other color but clear. I would definitely pick it up. cookie jar has a blue sky clay works feel to it. It's really whimsical. It's, it's made in China. Not very good quality, unfortunately. 
This looks like um, an oil painting on a metal saw wheel. Uh, but it's actually on wood. It's a wooden wheel that's been painted. That's a bummer. Wish it was on metal. Going back and seeing if I missed anything. Oh my goodness. I see a Fenton Bell. I just bought a red ruffle Fenton Bell from Chapter 2 Vintages Auction. What are the chances of that? This is an early one, so it's not marked, but it's definitely Fenton. I'm not sure if it glows or not. I have to Instagram this one. Well, this is an interesting ashtray. I don't recognize that mark. Going back and checking the Christmas one more time. Uh, hmm, what's this? Oh, that looks like Ray Dunn. Ray Dunn elves. I'm positive that wasn't here last time I came through. I wouldn't have missed that. This is one of the Ray Dunn pieces that is worth picking up. Magic, Merry and Mischief the Elves. They want $7.99, but that's all right. I'm going to put it aside for Christmas and it will do well. Yay. Checking the mugs one more time. Oh, this is hilarious. This is very me. <laughs> I am perfectly calm. I love it. Just having a quick look through the shoes before I go. These are Nikes, but there's not enough room for resale there. Swim booties are quite good, just not this brand. Please stay tuned for my haul where I show you everything I bought, tell you what I paid for it and what I expect to get for it. And if you see anything you're interested in purchasing, please contact me via email or Instagram using the information in the description. I don't usually look at purses, but I thought I'd have a quick peek. In purses, I'm looking for anything vintage, anything leather that I like. I usually stay clear of name brands because I don't want to deal with authenticity issues. Not seeing much today. I do you like this blue puppy tote? Here on my table is everything I got at Goodwill. First, we have a pack of six genuine slate coasters by the Capizzolo brothers in Pennsylvania. They have a horse and cart on them. They cost me $2.50 on green tag sale. And I expect to get between $15 and $20 for them. Next, we have the Pottery Barn Oh What Fun mugs. There's two of them. They have a really fun candy cane stripe. I paid 69 cents a piece. I expect to get $30. We have a Be Merry Threshold by Target mug. I expect to get $20 for that. my really super fun Denver Broncos pull apart doll. He has Velcro arms, legs and head and you can actually rip his limbs off, throw them where you want when you're frustrated and then reassemble him if you choose to. I paid $1.99. He is a bit faded at the front. It looks like he's been sitting in the sun but I expect to get between $20 and $25 for him. I love this Winchester House uh, 
opalescent glass mug. It's such a pretty color. It has a little palm tree on the back. I don't know if you can see that. The Winchester house is a mystery house in California. It's supposed to be haunted. I paid 69 cents for it. I can't find another one like it. I'm going to ask 20 to $25. I loved this Murray mug that shows a little cat saying, I am perfectly calm. I paid 69 cents. I'm going to ask 20 for it. This is a Reuven um, painted plate. The firing process makes the colors run together like a watercolor painting. I just love the combination of purple and pink and yellow. I paid 69 cents. I expect to get 20 to 25. I love this blue Fenton Bell. I believe it's called Daisies and Buttons. Um, it was made before these bells were actually marked with a stamp. It would have had a sticker. It does not glow under black light, unfortunately, but it's a gorgeous, gorgeous color, satin finish. I just love it. I'm going to ask 20 to 25. Last but not least, my little gnome Ray Dunn platter, magic, merry, and mischief. I paid up a bit for this, $7.99, but I'm going to hold it until Christmas time and I expect to get between 20 and $40, depending on the market. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please take a second to give me a like, drop a comment, and subscribe to my channel with a little red button in the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. Bye.